It started with a forehead you could show slides on. And in a few years, my friends started calling me cue ball. But look at me today. I'll bet you wouldn't even guess this is a toupee. But it's just one of the toupees I can wear with new Convertitube with the patented Velcro implant method. Let me show you how it works. You see, underneath this toupee is a sheet of Velcro which has been surgically implanted into my scalp in much the same method that is used for transplanting hair. Sure, it was painful, but so are hair transplants. And if you're going to go through all the pain and expense of transplants, why be stuck with just one hairstyle when you can have so many choices? It's so convenient. Just pop on one and you're ready to face the day. Convertitube has a nighttime look especially for you. You can go from businessman to mod swinger. And there's even a punk rock mohawk model. And once you've chosen your toupee, that toupee will stay on because Convertitube's patented Velcro method stops embarrassing toupee slippage. And if you act now, we'll add at no extra charge these discreet Velcro eyebrow implants. If you're going to go through with the discomfort of transplants, why be burdened with just one hairstyle when you can just Convertitube? Convertitube. Ball today, hair tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, and the next day. And the day after that, and the day after that. Tired of ordinary television? Don't touch that dial. SCTV is now on the air. Starring John Candy. Joe Flaherty. Eugene Levy. Andrea Martin. Rick Moranis. Catherine O'Hara. And Dave Thomas. Television like you've never seen it before. This is the SCTV Television Network with special guest Dave Edmonds. And now, and now, now SCTV showcase right, right here on showcase. Heading Your Way from SCTV. Thursday, from the people who brought you Nick Rye Accountant, it's Turk Grumman, Police Dispatcher. Turk Grumman, he's that tough cop with a tough job in the toughest precinct in New York City. Every day is a different day for Turk Grumman. He came from the cushy world of limousine dispatching to join forces with the NYPD. And all hell is going to break loose. OK, car 15, report back to the station. His name is Turk Grump, and he's a police dispatcher. Now look, damn it, I don't know where that street is. Turk Grump, for high action adventure at its best, for torrid romance at its steamiest. She's not bad, huh, Turk? I know what you mean. He's a police dispatcher, and his name is Turk Grump, for human drama at its most dramatic, Slipper! Grumman, how many times have I told you no slippers on duty? Are you listening? You listen good, Chief. When I accepted this job, I told you I had very sensitive feet. I don't wear police issue shoes. Now either I wear the slippers or I walk. Look, no, it was just a suggestion, Turk. Just a suggestion. Turk Grumman. Police Dispatcher. Premiering Thursday night at 9 on this CTV. Over. SCTV proudly presents the movie of the week, I Was a Teenage Communist. The place, America. The time, right now. This is the story about evil. Oh, not the kind of evil you see on the movie screen, but the kind of evil you find in your own backyard. This is the Davis household. A good American family. Mr. Davis isn't home. He has his nose to the grindstone to keep bread on the family table. This is Mrs. Davis. She loves America. She just wants to do what's right for her family and her country. And this is young Eddie Davis, a typical American teenager. Like most kids his age, he likes cold lemonade, hot rods, and the quick swing of a baseball bat. Today, however, young Eddie Davis will find himself a helpless pawn in an evil game he could barely understand. 
Mmm, I'll bet that apple pie's cool enough to eat now. Why don't you cut yourself a piece, Eddie? Eddie, must you carry that thing around with you? You know your father disapproves. Mom, well, all the kids in school carry these things around. Oh, if all the kids jumped off the Empire State Building, would you do that too? Yeah, I guess. Eddie, don't you have Glee Club today? Holy Toledo, I forgot. Could you give me a lift? Oh, I'd love to, dear, but I can't. I promised your sister I'd take her to the bridal shop. Well, I'll give Russ a call. Maybe he'll give me a ride. Eddie? I don't like Russ Riley. I think he's a bad influence on you. He's not like the other boys. Mom, I'm gonna give Russ a call. Russ! Use the phone, dear. No, no, no Mom, he's here. Oh. Hey, Mrs. D. Hello, hey. Russ. Russ, could you give me a ride to the school? I'm real late for my Glee Club. Sure, practice. I'll give you a ride, Eddie. Eddie, uh, don't be late for dinner, dear. I'm making your favorite, burgers and fries. Would you get off my back? How do I know if I'm going to be late? Maybe I am going to be late. Maybe I'm not going to be late. Eddie! I hate you! I hate this whole town and everybody in it. Come on, Russ, let's go. boy, Eddie. Don't let your mom boss you around. Parents, they just cheese me. Don't let them bug you. Hey, come on. I got some friends I want you to meet. You're going to like them. You like them a lot. Come on. Okay. Russ, looks like he's brought someone new with him. Hey, everybody. I'd like you to meet Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Hi, Eddie. So, <coughs> this is the Duke Snyder fan club. <coughs> <coughs> oh, Eddie, I'd like you to meet Murray. He's, uh, president of our club. Hey! World Series, 1955. Who was pitching when the Duke hit the big homer in the final game? I don't know. <laughs> oh, don't worry about us, Eddie. We're just obsessed with the Duke. Huh? Yeah, yeah the Duke, yeah. <laughs> like many other good Americans. Hey, I'd like to introduce you to some of the guys. Uh, this is Yuri. Oh, but you can call me Biff. Biff? Biff. A uh, good American name, huh, Eddie? Yeah. <laughs> and this is Emma. Well, I'll, uh, I'll leave you two kids alone now, huh? Hello, Eddie. Russ tells me you're into music. What kind of music do you like? Oh, Tony Martin, Andre Castellanos. Why don't you tell me a little bit more about yourself? Well, how do you think my buddy's going to work out? Oh, relax, Russ. Eddie's tailor-made for the world plan. First, we weaken the minds of America's youth by giving them something wild. Like rock and roll. Yeah, like rock and roll. And the ticket to that destination just walked in the door with you. If Eddie Davis is as popular as you say he is, where he goes, others will follow. But how are you going to get him to go to the Coco Shack tonight? Just watch. But Eddie, commune farming can bring two people so close together. Gosh, I've never met anybody quite like you. You're so worldly. You dig rock and roll, Eddie? Well, my parents say that rock and roll undermines the moral fiber of America's youth. What? You, you listen to everything your parents say? Oh, don't get me wrong. I, I, I don't have to listen to my parents. I hate my parents. I hate this town. I hate this whole lousy country. You're quite the rebel, Eddie. Well... Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you head down to the Coco Shack tonight for some good old rock and roll? Your friend Russ will be playing. Russ plays rock and roll? What? I, I... For me, Eddie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah! Be there at eight. Eddie, I'm so proud of you. Hey, <laughs> watch it. Get me 
the police. Eddie. Stay cool. I was a teenage communist. We'll continue after these messages. It's the most successful sitcom in television history with its Russia. timeless child star. I'm warning you, you're not getting any chocolate cake until you're through all your homework. A look at the career of Rusty Van Ruddick, now in his 29th season as television's favorite little boy. All right, see. And still the driving force behind the show's success. An intimate profile on the next Stars in One, coming soon. Hi, it's me, Harry, the guy with a snake on his face. Owner of Harry's Sex Shop, publisher of Harry's Library of Distinction. You're probably thinking, hey, Harry, you look like a big sucker. Well, I am a big sucker. I'm giving away quality merchandise here at rock bottom prices. I must be crazy. This week, I got X-rated movies on beta and VHS. I'm practically giving them away. Plus, all the usual sexual aids, too numerous, if not too disgusting to mention on television. <laughs> and if you come down here right now, for every $2 worth of merchandise you buy, I'll give you $1 back. Have I lost my mind? Has old Harry gone nuts? Hey, I'm a sucker. I'll take care of you. Listen, a lot of people have been asking me lately, hey, Harry, was that you on the cover of Fortune magazine? You're damn right it was. Take a look at this. I was named Small Businessman of the Year. And you want to know what they said about me? Well, I'll tell you. And I quote, Harry, the guy with a snake on his face, knows how to make a lot of money. Take a gander at this, huh? Me and Nancy Reagan boogalooing down at a big party, huh? Now, the president and I, we hit it off real good. He told me he enjoyed the way I stimulated the economy. And now I branched off. No matter where you live, there's a hairy sex shop near you. I even got a store down in Mexico. So come on in, say hello, get yourself some low price necessities. Me and one of my expert sales representatives are eager to help you. Remember, we're, we're the guys with snakes, snakes on our faces. Our faces. <laughs> some of us even got them on our chest. <laughs> Harry's Sex Shops, now at over 200 locations. Boys and girls, it's time for some good old American rock and roll! Yeah. So Murray's Coco Shack, in association with the Duke Snyder Fan Club, is proud to present the rock and sounds of Eddie Davis's best friend, Russ Riley!
no hurry, Murray. That poor fool. He thinks I'm in love with him. He has no idea that we're using him. Yes, it's only a matter of time before the youth of... Oh, excuse me. Before the youth of America will be in our clutches. Oh, yes. <sighs> What's happening to me? My heart is beating like a rabbit's or a wolf. Everything is whirling. Everything seems strange and distant and confusing. Eddie! I hate you! I hate this whole town and everybody in it! I don't have to listen to my parents. You get off my back! I hate my parents. I hate this whole lousy country. No, I don't. I know who you are. And I'm gonna tell the world! You're a communist! That's right, Eddie. We are communists. But you'll never tell. Freddie Davis is too late. But for all you young people out there watching this film, there's still a chance to stop the spreading specter of communism from infesting your own backyard. Take a tip from Eddie Davis. Don't talk to strangers. Don't hang out at malt shops. Remember, communism could be anywhere. It could be the kid on the corner, or your grocer, or your best friend. So keep your mouth shut, mind your own business, and above all, keep away from rock and roll. This was a fictitious town, but next time, it could be your town. Coming soon, it's another Mel's Rock Pile. Well, I'm Rock and Mel Slurp, and we're gonna have a lot of fun in the Rock Pile this week. Hi there, what's your name? Uh, Joe Blow. Oh, come on, that's not your real name. That's B-L-O-U-G-H, Mel. Number 10! Rainbows on my mind by the sun showers. Number 9! Pierce me by the lasers. Join Rock and Mel soon on SCTV. And now, sunrise semester. Today, elementary drawing with your instructor, Salvador Dali. Hello. Please sit, Dolly. Please, drawing. This paint. This pipe. Now, ah. who draw? Don. Abubur. Dolly teach. Draw. Model. So, we draw. Sa Everybody has. Hey. Mm. You don't have hey. You tune. Be wise and tell. Good fight. We need thing. Huh? I know mouth, ear, up, top on top. Thing. Good fight. Really? Thing. Nah. Make really deep. We give two her. Ah. Oh. Two. Oh. Ah. Two her. Now, hi. Look, hi. Uh, not just hi. There. Hey. Two. One. Three. Hey. 
This concludes this, the last show on our series, Elementary Drawing 101, with Salvador Dali. <laughs>